everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, back with another science short. And I am so excited because this week we are going to talk about tarantula facts. I don't personally know a whole lot about tarantulas, although I am going to share with you my very favorite fact at the end, but we are lucky enough to have librarian Catherine with us today who knows quite a lot about tarantulas. Take a look. Hello, Catherine. Hello. What have you brought for us today? I have brought some of my tarantulas. Yay! So I have a number of tarantulas, and the ones I brought today range uh, in size from an itsy bitsy baby tarantula to a larger tarantula, some adult tarantulas, and they're all different species, so they're all different types of how many tarantulas do you have? I have at this point 26 or 27. Are they all different kinds? I have one or two that are the same kind, but I think I only have two. I have like four tarantulas that are the same species. Okay, so what should we know about tarantulas? Well, there are some common tarantula myths, and one of them is that Tarantulas are super scary and can climb all over you and then they can drop on the floor and they'll be totally fine. But tarantulas are far more scared of you guys than, uh, than you should be of them. Um, and if they fall, their abdomens are actually very brittle because they have the exoskeleton. And if the exoskeleton falls from any height, even it can just be like 12 inches or something falls onto something hard like concrete or a wood table, uh, it will shatter and oh, break no. and then the tarantula will die, ah. which is sad because tarantulas are very, uh, they can be alarming, but tarantulas can be alarming, but they are very simple and uh, creatures that don't want to hurt you. They just want to be left alone. So what kind of tarantula is this guy? So this tarantula is a Tlitocatl vagans. They used to be classified as a Brachypelma vagans, but scientists are still learning about tarantulas. So they took a second look at this type of tarantula and a batch of other species, and they reclassified their family. That's cool. Uh, this is the tarantula's molt. Uh, it sheds its exoskeleton on a regular basis as it grows. Some tarantulas uh, web more than others, so the Tlitocatl vagans doesn't web very much. They just sit around and wait for prey. But other tarantulas web a whole lot. So you can see this one, which is the Chromatopelma never know that I can never get the last part of it. It's the cyanopubescence. It's all Latin and sometimes I don't pronounce the Latin correctly. It's uh, a lot of webbing. has a lot of webbing. You can just see the tarantula down here. I do. He looks striped. Yes. And this is just a this is the color when they're a juvenile. When they're an adult, uh, they will be a much more bright blue. That's very cool. I didn't know tarantulas did bright colors like blue. They do. They, this is one of the brighter tarantulas, uh, but they, many tarantulas change color as they grow up. This is an Acanthoscuria geniculata. Uh, it's hiding under its cork bark. Lots of tarantulas like to have some place to hide and to dig a burrow. You can kind of see that down at the very bottom, it's dug all the way down to the bottom of the plastic and it hides in there and then when uh, food is put in it will come out and grab the food and go back in there for uh, safety in order to eat all of its food in peace and quiet. Nice. This one, uh, this tarantula is an adult. It is a Davis pentalorus and it, this is about as big as it gets. And you can see on the 
Davis pentaloris, which is, as I said, the biggest it'll get. Uh, different tarantulas get different sizes. I don't know if you can see, there's a tiny, tiny bit on its striped, where it's not striped and it's kind of just black in the middle. Yes. And that is where it has kicked some of its little hairs off of its butt as a defense mechanism. Oh. So they'll use their back legs to scrape hairs off and those hairs have little tiny pointed barbs and uh, will itch like crazy if they get <laughs> on you and are very dangerous for eyes. Sure. Uh, and it's part of their defense mechanism. These are all tarantulas that I've brought today from the New World. So that's the United States and South America and Central America and Canada. So they don't really have that many tarantulas. Um, it's too cold. Uh, and they tend to have these urticating hairs that they kick off. Um, tarantulas from Africa and Asia, et cetera, don't have urticating hairs, but they have much more powerful venom. We're gonna see if they might wanna eat a cricket. Oh, you're like, yes, I would like a cricket, please. Thank you for asking. So I will add in my very favorite tarantula fact. Actually, I have two of them. First one, did you know that baby tarantulas are called slings, which I thought was super cute. And second, if you look really close at tarantula feet, like they don't look scary at all. They actually kind of look like puppy paws. So take a look at these pictures and tell me you don't think those are adorable. So thank you for joining us for our tarantula facts and I hope to see you back next week for another science short.